to show this all across the internet, around the yes. world, and all the thousands of dollars I make by showing your TV. <laughs> and, hello. Hi, my name is Alyssa Lamone. I'm Lamone Zone AZ on the Mini Gastric Bypass Board. I always board. pronounce that as Lima, Lemon. It's, or it's my last name, oh. Zone plus AZ, so it's kind of like a family thing. Um, I had my surgery with Dr. Rutledge April 19th, 2006, so I'm just over my year, and um, I've lost 142 pounds in a year. Let's see, we'll do this for the camera. So watch this. These <laughs> pants didn't even fit me before surgery. Oh my and I can fit my whole, and they didn't even fit me before surgery. They were too tight, so. Oh, wait, wait, I, I, I didn't get it. That's where I All right, now start from. again. No, just. <laughs> Wow. And yeah, my whole body can go in here now. I went from a size 28 to a size 6. Wow. In here. I get so emotional because it's just, it's the best decision I have ever made for myself in my life. And um, I knew the second I went to my very first seminar that this was for me. And um, it took me about two months to do the packet. And do you I was, forgive me for the packet? I do. I, I, I am thankful for the packet. The packet has saved me because I'm so knowledgeable oh, wait, 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 wait. now. I, want to hear that one again. I am. I'm so no I, I am. I, I recently had some surgery, um, nothing serious, and I, I was able to tell the surgeon why he has to prescribe medication that has no nice ads in it. And, they don't understand, but as long as I understand, I know that I'm protecting myself. I had not one complication. I, um, my surgery was 24 minutes, and I was, in, <laughs> I was out of the hospital in 24 hours and felt more like myself on day five. I was not one of the ones that could go right out to the casinos and gamble. Oh, wait, wait, excuse me. I want to mark this edit out. <laughs> Anesthesia hits me hard, so I was I was just a little groggy and tired. And um, in my sixth month was when I started exercising, and I really believe that that has helped me drop a ton of more weight and really helped with the skin as well. I have a little bit of skin here and there, and I do think I need a tummy tuck. Um, but besides that, I I just I feel absolutely wonderful, and I would suggest it to anybody. I. Um, I have nothing negative to say. <laughs> no. Thank you. Okay, introduce your mother. Introduce okay. mother. Now, get, get together because you guys this look so Sue, great. This is Sue, and she, she was supposed to go the same day as me, and she, yeah, and she's my mom, and she was going to go the same day as me, except that she had prednisone in her system, so Dr. Rutledge wanted her to wait at least five or six months to get that out of her system, so she did. She went six months after me, and she's. Eight months. I'm eight months. I had my surgery at the end of August, August 30th. I've lost 100 pounds. Wow. Yeah. I couldn't hardly walk. I had to use a scooter to get around. When we came for our seminar, she had to rent a wheelchair to get around because she could not walk. She couldn't. No, I couldn't even walk from in the one casino. End to the other. Yeah. And it's just changed my whole life completely. I can do so many more things that I ever remember doing in a long time and it's been just wonderful my surgery was like 32 minutes and I did have to have some drains for Ooh. a while <laughs> <laughs> but drains. Now, drains. Tell about how bad did it hurt how bad did it hurt when the drains came out oh well it did <laughs> hurt <laughs> you remember no but it that's did. okay this is not going on the internet <laughs> But just for a second, it was like a surprise hurt because you yeah. did it so fast. Yeah. And then you know? I run out of the room. Yeah, yeah. and you run away really quick and then it's done. And before I turned around, it was over. And it's just been wonderful. I'm so happy I've had it done. And Dr. Rutledge has just done a wonderful thing for a lot of people. Now that you can say again. <laughs> Thank you. Did you exercise as well? Not as good as my daughter, I have Honestly, to say. My daughter does much better. She's that, very good with her, all of her vitamins and her supplements. She doesn't miss one. But to get her to go out and take a walk well, is I like pulling walk, teeth. But not consistently like I should. And she just started walking, I'd say, two weeks ago. So, <laughs> you know, but 
No. <laughs> Definitely not. But the surgery by itself has worked for her, even without the exercise. Just the surgery itself and just the amount that we can eat. And I'll tell you though, the deprivation there is none. I enjoy food. I we eat. even enjoyed our Thanksgiving. Giving, I mean, I don't know yeah, there's nothing that I did. really can't eat, except when I want to be bad and cheat a little bit, I have a kid-sized portion, and that totally satisfies me. And I buy, like, the little mini um, Three Musketeers if I want chocolate, and that's two or three of those, and I'm, I'm fine. My chocolate fix is done. So it's changed my whole relationship with food. I'm not a slave to food anymore. That ghrelin is gone, and whew, I feel it. I definitely feel that. So your hunger, you think, is different than pre-op? Without a doubt. Definitely. Without a doubt. Yeah. I still get hungry, though. I mean, you know, when it's yeah, time to Yeah, we don't to want to eat. take away all your hunger, but what we want to do is change pre-op, where you were hungry all the time and never mm -hmm. satisfied, to now hungry a little and satisfied. That's, that, that's right. exactly how it is. And we have a, a lot of patients that we're seeing now who've had the lap band. Right. Lap band patients tend to not have a drop in the ghrelin or ghrelin, so they tend to have a lot of hunger and then try and eat and then throw up. So how's your, uh, throwing up? Never. What? Never. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, lit I, I'm out a year and I did once. I had, I had it once. Wait, wait, don't, don't, that, that, I like this never. <laughs> but that was well, three months never. out and that was just once and it was my own fault. <laughs> and that, but honestly, no, I don't. I, and, there's nothing that I haven't tried since surgery. I'm not lactose intolerant. There's nothing that I can't nibble on. I've had a few bites of Cheesecake Factory cheesecake, full right. fat, full sugar, and I eat a little bit, and again, I'm just satisfied with that. That's all that I need. It's not a whole box of donuts and then a whole gallon of ice cream, and what am I going to eat after that? It's right. so not like that It makes anymore. a big change. Big, big, big difference. change. Yeah. Yeah.